can't identify that cloud. I don't know what cloud that is. F you. That's what cloud type that is. Cumulus are a low level cloud. Cumulus clouds get me very wet. Basically cumulus means poofy white cloud. Cotton ball cloud. Big ball of water. Big ball of water. Oh, I'm just taking a gay nap in a cloud. <sighs> You can feel the coldness of my heart through my skin. My heart is really dead and cold. Cumulus is known to be a pretty basic cloud type. If you go out with some friends and you say, hey, there's some cumulus clouds, people will be like, that's the most basic thing I've ever heard someone say. Please don't talk for the next half an hour. So you might want to know a few of the cumulus species to just get a little bit more respect with your friends. If the cumulus cloud is wider than it is tall, that's cumulus humulus. Now that's gonna get you a little bit more respect if you say that in your friend group. If a cumulus cloud is about as tall as it is wide, that's cumulus mediocris. Again, very respectable to go out and say this in public. Hey, there's a cumulus mediocris. Even if it's not one, people will probably be impressed that you said that word because it sounds like it's a tough word. And if the cumulus cloud is taller than it is wide, it's piled up to be quite a high cloud. That's actually cumulus congestus. I love the clouds. I love the cloud types. I love beautiful clouds. Did you fucking shit in here? Did you shit in here? That's how I talk to my family. That's how I talk to my kids, actually. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Derek, did you shit? Is he even gonna address cumulus fractus? Yes, I'm gonna address cumulus fractus right the f now. It's a beautiful species because it's like these little raggedy scraps of cumulus. It's when they're forming or dissolving and they're just these little f***ing scraps. You ever see cumulus clouds lined up in rows? Cumulus radiatus. Fucked up sh I started eating vinyl, that stuff. That plastic stuff. This is the shit, dude. This is the shit. Millennials always are thinking that cloud classifications don't apply to them. We all came out of the same dude's dick. Here's my impression of like everybody in the world. Ah! Ah! Here's my impression of clouds though. The sky just keeps going all the time. The sky literally doesn't even give a fuck that I love it. The sky does not give a Fuck what you think. Talk about confidence. The sky goes out there, does its shit every goddamn day. People could hate it, people could love it, and it wouldn't even affect what it does at all. If I was the sky, I feel like every day I'd be like, was my sunset good enough? What did you guys think? Check your coat at the door. Leave your coat at the door. There's a coat room. There's a coat room for a reason. Put your coat in the coat room. One of the old sayings is, if there's cumulus clouds in the sky, I'm gonna jack off. It's a fair weather cloud. And that's the type of weather where you don't really have concerns. You probably sit around, smoke weed, and jack off. Hey, son, how about we go out this weekend and spend some time under the beautiful cumulus clouds? Dad, you know I don't like cumulus clouds anymore. I'm 11 years old. And people are always thinking when they're getting in a cloud spotting, it's like, oh, I gotta find these nacreous clouds. I gotta find these very rare cumulonimbus accessory clouds, the pileus clouds, the mammatus clouds. But maybe it's all about cumulus. Maybe it's all about them sunny days when you were a kid and you saw these clouds and you drew a picture of them. And maybe every picture you drew had cumulus clouds in it. Maybe that's what it's all about. And maybe cumulus clouds are the ones that are represented by kids on all the drawings because they're one of the most beautiful, iconic pictures of what being on Earth is. <laughs>